Hello and welcome to another Excel tutorial. Now this one is about removing blank rows in Excel. I have my data, I have some blank rows and I want to remove them. Now there are two kind of stages in which we're going to look at this. The first stage is a simple table where if it's a blank cell, it's within a blank row. And that is the simple scenario. And we're going to show two ways to deal with this. And then we're going to go to a complicated table where we have entire rows that are blank, but then we also have single cells within a row that is not blank, but it has some blank values. And the reason we're doing this in two stages is because within a simple table, we have simple solutions, but will not, that will not work in a complicated table, but are very fast. So if you have a simple table and you know that all you want to get rid of are blank rows, so rows that are entirely blank and you have no other blank cells within this table, then you can do, so you can do this two ways. The first way is simply by selecting the entire table and then either pressing F5 or Control G and Special. So you go, go to Special. Now you can get to the same dialog box by saying Home, Find and Select, Go to Special. So either way, we want to get to this dialog box. And what we want to say is select blanks. So select the blank cells within that table. And this is everything we need. Because once these are selected, you can just go control minus. Or you can go home, delete, and then do delete table rows. Or you can even delete sheet rows if you know there's no other data to the left and to the right. Um, either of this would work. right? And then another way that you can do it in a simple table is by simply utilizing your filters. Now, this one would almost seem easier because what you do is you select a filter. You say, well, I only need the blanks. Okay. And now I have the entire blank rows. So these are my blank rows. And to remove them, well, it depends in which Excel I'm in. So if I'm in the modern Excel, I just go control minus and it would work. I could also go delete, delete table rows or sheet rows and it would work. But if I'm in an older version of Excel, I have a problem because the way I selected this kind of by dragging and dropping, I've selected all the rows from eight to 11. And what I would need to do is to refine that selection to visible cells only. And you do this the exactly the same way as we did the first time. So F5 or Control G special, and you say visible cells only and OK. The shortcut for this is Alt and semicolon. So if you want to do it by a keyboard shortcut. And now I only have the visible cells selected. And now, again, Control minus or an OK. Or you could go delete, delete table rows or sheet rows and it would work, right? So this is the way you would do it in a simple table. But now if we have a complicated table, things are more complicated. Because now if I would go, you know, select the entire table and then go to special blanks and OK, not only those two rows are selected, right? There's actually only a single row not selected at this point. And if I would say delete, delete table rows now, what I would be left with sorry, delete, delete sheet rows, what I would be left with would just be that one row of data. But that's not what I want. What I want is to get rid of these rows that have all the entries blank, so there are blank rows. You could do this by selecting each and every filter and going blanks, 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 blanks. So just selecting each filter and say, well, these should be blank, and then this should be blank, right? And because it's an end, 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 you, in the end, you would end up with the entire row blank, which is what you want. But I don't like this scenario because think about it. If you have 20 or 30 columns and that is not, you know, such an obscene number, um, then this would just take too long. So. The way I would rather handle this is by writing this formula. So I would go text join 
and the delimiter would just be two double quotes, so a blank string, I would want to ignore empty cells and basically just bring all of these together. So bring the entire row together into one giant string. Right? And what I would get is this. And this is a good situation to be in because now what are these blanks? Well, these are my blank rows, right? Because they're blank for the entire row. And all I would have to do is just say, filter this to blanks. And now I go control minus and okay. And that is it, right? But there's another way you can do this. And I, I kind of like that one even better. So another way you can do this is by utilizing Power Query. Now Power Query has a command. I wish Excel had it, but it doesn't. Power Query has a command where you can go like this. So, cause this is a table, I can just go data from table range. So push this into Power Query. And once it's in here, I can go home, remove rows, remove blank rows. So if it's a blank row, just remove it. And there you go. The two rows are removed and now I can just say close and load and this will be loaded into Excel. There it is without the blank rows. As simple as that. Okay. Now there's a, another way you can do this, but it would utilize something outside of Excel. So you would do this by utilizing something that was once upon a time called Microsoft Flow and now it's called Power Automate. And that one has its benefits because you could do it by not even touching the, uh, the file. You don't have to open the file to do it because it's automated. And uh, a fellow MVP by the name of John McDougall has a site called How to Excel and has a blog post about how to do this with Power Automate. And if you want to learn extra, you know, beyond Excel, I highly encourage you to go check out that post. But this is how you remove blank rows in Excel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.